All right, I'm doing the Oleander review. I already kind of peeked into the box in another video, but now I decided to take it off because it's so gorgeous out here and warm. And I don't think there's any hard frost coming up. So might as well take the take the box off. And as you can see from a first glance, it looks bad, but it doesn't look terrible. Even as we go in here, we have this beautiful undamaged foliage, which is quite amazing. But even on the top, I mean, these leaves are dead, but what lays below looks quite nice. Even the stem doesn't look fried. So yes, I'm gonna have to take some of these branches off like this one, but I'm not gonna take off too much yet because I don't know from where it'll regrow. So I'll just take a little bit off. All right, so I just took the worst of the worst off. It looks bad right now, but I'm sure it'll recover nicely. I mean, we do have some green foliage, even nice foliage on here. And you can definitely see where, when it gets closer to the house, there's more alive stuff. And as we go towards the center, we can see there's more green leaves there. But I would say this was a successful experiment. I mean, I'll keep you guys updated on how this thing is going to perform in summer and whether we'll get any flowers at all it was flowering nicely the last year and i just put it in a shed without any protection so we'll see we'll see i'll keep you guys updated on this one this is an interesting one